All right, guys, it is World Sleep Day today. Or actually, it's tomorrow, but I'm making this video today for tomorrow. World Sleep Day. Never heard about it. I, I didn't know that existed. Uh, I just, my mom told me today, and I was like, well, perfect time to make a video about sleep, okay? And here's what I want you to understand as an athlete, because I, I assume you're an athlete watching this video on my running channel. We're all looking for better performance, right? We want to run a little bit faster, a little bit further, uh, or maybe we want to get stronger or better at some particular aspect of our, of our uh, sport. In our quest for better performance, we start looking around, right? We are looking around for anything and everything that might help us get that edge, uh, get a little bit further and improve a little bit more. Of course, the main factor is still going to be like your training. Like, what are you doing in training? You can't expect to get much fitter if you're not changing it up a little bit training-wise and perhaps increasing the training load somewhat from what you're used to. Okay, so of course, there has to be a progression of training. Uh, but the other half of training, as I've spoken about in different videos, is what we call recovery, right? And it's during the recovery that you're actually getting fitter not actually during the training session itself, that's just breaking you down. And then for the next few hours and days, now your body builds itself back up again, and even a little bit further to allow you to become fitter than you were. That's essentially the training effect. And then of course, there are all these little things we can do in order to maximize our recovery process. And people get really, really hooked on all these different therapies and different massage techniques and, and foam rolling and stretching and ice ba bathing and, and there's all the supplements, of course, etc. Most of them are probably great, but they cannot even compare to like the biggest, biggest factors for performance, okay? And you've got to focus on them first. That's my point. The big factors for performance and recovery is, of course, first of all, your training, as I said, and then it's your nutrition, and then it is your sleep, okay? Your sleep, it's an opportunity to absolutely supercharge your uh, recovery, really. When you're looking at elite athletes taking drugs to get that little bit of an edge, they're trying to get a percent or two better, and taking drugs will, might help them get there. If you're looking at someone who's not getting enough sleep compared to someone who is getting enough sleep, the difference is not just a percent or two in terms of performance. It's probably going to be, I'm just guessing, 10, 20, 30 percent difference. Sleep is like so important for your recovery. Uh, there are tons of things that happen in your body when you're sleeping. Hormones, repair, it's, it's basically uh, you're, you're doping. You're, you're naturally doping when you're sleeping. So. If you're an athlete and you're interested in performance and you're getting it done on a regular basis in the gym or out there on the roads or on the trails or whatever, but you're limiting the amount of sleep you're getting, what are you doing? You might as well just, <laughs> I'm not going to say you might as well stop, but you're just, you're short circuiting yourself and your fitness development. So prioritize it. That is my point. And I'm not going to make this video very long. I just want you to prioritize your sleep if you're interested in performance and health. Of course, it's uh, very important for health too. So as you know, I have written an ebook about sleep. It's called Sweet Dreams. There's a link in the description. You can go check it out. It's about how to optimize the conditions for your sleep. Okay, so we're talking all the little things in your life that you can tweak and adjust and optimize in order for that sleep to become high quality. All right. So one thing is getting enough sleep. Most people are not. So just investing a bit more time is a good idea. But even if you are getting enough sleep, having quality sleep, falling asleep easily, uh, that sort of thing. That's what the book is all about. So go check it out. If you're interested in maximizing the quality of your sleep, the link is in the description. Take care of the basics. Make sure you're eating right, make sure you're sleeping right, and make sure you're training right. Then you can go to all those little extra things and supplements, etc. And speaking of supplements, I wanted to mention this quickly at the end here. I've been taking this supplement, it's melatonin, uh, and it's available here in Norway. I actually originally bought this product with my own money, and I just really loved it. 
Uh, it made a huge difference for me because I've been struggling with insomnia when there's not enough light during the winter in Norway. And taking this supplement really helped. So I contacted them and I said, hey, maybe you guys want to sponsor some videos and in an Instagram post and send me some products. And they did. So this, so this is sent to me by them. So it's the sponsored video. Um, but I'm not promoting it just because I want to make money or, or get this product. I'm doing it because I'm actually genuinely believing in the product. So if you're in Norway, you can check out their link in the description for where to buy this. And there's also a code there that will give you 20% off your purchase. So melatonin, sleep ebook, but most of all, just consider the fact that sleep is a powerful performance enhancer. Okay. If you're not getting enough, great, because then you have such a huge potential for improving your health, your fitness, your mental uh, performance, your, your performance at work, your performance in relationships, your happiness levels, your, your, your health in general. It's just sleep is just all around very, very good. Okay. So definitely prioritize it. All right. Happy sleep day. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments, uh, how many hours you sleep a night. I thrive on nine to 10 hours. That's where I'm happiest and healthiest and feel good. And what about you? How long do you sleep? How do you like it? Do you like sleeping? I do. And also subscribe to the channel, of course. All right. Thanks for watching. See you around.